been killed at schools this year than have been killed while serving in the military. In fact, nearly twice as many. School day, and it was almost over when gunfire erupted this afternoon. State our breaking news now in downtown Detroit, where we're being told a woman has been shot. Fifty people were killed because a man yes. went into a gay nightclub and had two guns and was able to murder them. I think that reinstating the uh, ban on assault weapons and banning high-capacity magazines would do any good? Yes, um, I do. Congressman Eric Swalwell, a Democrat from the San Francisco Bay Area, has a solution for gun violence. He's writing this in an op-ed. criminally prosecute any who choose to defy it by keeping their weapons. We should confiscate. What do you think would happen if the federal government tried to do that? Introduce yourself. I said introduce yourself. Fine. Be that way. Meet Maya. I say we start the bid at, uh, 25,000 you want? 75,000? <laughs> Shit. Going once? Going twice? Wait a minute, 200,000? She is so. If you were just tuning in, you've just witnessed what appears to be live footage of another woman being auctioned off via an untraceable app that has taken the web by storm. We are asking our viewers for any tips to help bring Maya home. Dinner's ready. In other news, a man appears to have randomly entered a shopping mall, killing 12 people with a morning star before being detained by local authority officer Jay Peterson. Are we truly safe without guns? TV off. Powering off. You didn't hear me calling you? Nah. What's up? Dinner's ready. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> My bad. All right. You cool? Mm-hmm. All right. Hello? I can't do this. I can't do this. She is getting on my nerves. Okay, hold on. Wait, you can't cancel now. <laughs> the hell I can't. I'm going to go on this honeymoon without her. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to pawn this ring no, and no, open up listen. a surfboard shop listen, on the listen. coast. Planning and getting through it is the hard part. But nothing worth having is easy. <laughs> and, and I'm supposed to be the big brother. <laughs> yeah, man. We just talk about it tomorrow morning. All right, bro. All right. See you then. Apparently, no one has heard from the pastor in days. What? This is turning out to be such a disaster. Think it's a sign I shouldn't get married? Now, Tammy, you know anything worth having is not going to be easy at all. Yeah, I know. It's just so frustrating. I just want tomorrow to be perfect. OK, and I get that. But you know it's going to work out. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, well, I'm gonna see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, and Tammy? Yes? Try not to kill anybody, all right? <laughs> I'll try my best. Bye, girl. Bye. Those two. Tell me about it. Ooh, but this looks good. Thank you. You're welcome.
So, you okay? Your vibe's been off today. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just trying to get used to these new laws, you know? It just doesn't make sense. You and me both. But let's not talk about that. Let's just enjoy this great meal that you made for us, okay? But you can't tell me that this is the nicest thing that anyone has ever said to you. You can't be serious right now. I am serious right now. Hey, listen to this. The odometer will display error if an internal IPC memory failure is detected, or if there's like a communication fault between the PCM and the BCM. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Me either. Um, I guess the PCM is the powertrain control module, and the BCM is a body control module. So a computer issue. That'll be my guess. I didn't think I need my roadside assistance so soon. Hopefully they get here before curfew. Let's just hope they don't take that long. Go ahead, get in the car. Thank you for calling Aggressive Insurance. My name is Lauren. Are you in a safe location? <coughs> Hell no. Our car has stalled and it won't start. I'm so sorry to hear that. May I have your policy number? Yeah, hold on a second. No problem, take your time. Just let me know when you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Um, four, five, two, two, eight, five, four, B as in boy, zero, two, two, one, and A as in apple. Perfect. And I have you at Brian Wood Lane in Clinton, Michigan. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what are your nearest crossroads? Uh, let me check. Um... Can you give me the address of the closest home or building? Uh, um, it's like nothing really out here, so... Okay. Where will you be towing the vehicle? To the nearest dealership. Hmm. Let me take a look. It looks like the closest is Page Chevrolet on Woodward Avenue. Uh-huh. All right, sir. So I put in your request for a tow. They should be contacting you with the ETA shortly. Is there anything else I can do to assist you today? Um, do the dealership loan out loaners for customers? I can provide you with their contact information if you'd like. No, I'm straight. I, I, I get it. Okay. Thank you for calling Aggressive's Roadside Assistance. I hope your day gets a lot better from here. Thank you, you too. Hey. Yeah. What'd they say? Nothing yet. But you know how they are. Yeah. Well, aren't you glad we made it out the hood? Hell yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. How far are you two? Not far, but our car broke down. What? Oh my God, are you two okay? Yeah, but I don't know, it just cut off on us for whatever reason. 
didn't he just get that thing? You know Bridezilla's gonna flip when she hears this. Yeah, no doubt. She's already getting on my damn nerves. I'm so over this day, and it hasn't even started Look, yet. Look, girl, all I want to do is go back to the hotel, get some chocolate-covered strawberries, and just chill. I'm so jealous. All I'm gonna do tonight is Netflix and chill with my cat. <laughs> anyway, keep me updated. Girl, you know I will. All right, bye. Bye. Howdy. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, you just kind of scared us a little bit. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine, but just wanted to check to see if you're okay. Is there anything I can help you with? No, nah, we got a tow truck on the way. Got some car issues, but we're fine. Tow trucks and police. They're awfully slow around here. Yeah, we... Figures. Right. If you're sure you're okay, I'll mosey on. Oh, sir, wait, hold on. Just wait one second. Here you go. Thank you so much, Mr... Willie. Willie. Willie Jackson, ma'am. Well, thank you. That was so kind of you. Thank you. But I've got everything I need. Just wanted to make sure you folks were all right. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Lots of crazies around here. Goodbye. Be blessed. You too. Wow. I've never seen a homeless man turn down money before. Right. Babe, it's okay. Black weddings don't start on time anyway. You know I hate being late. Yeah. And I can't let Tay down. We're going to make it. I'll just text Ashley the latest. Man, she's going to flip. She is. Why? I'll just get you an Uber. No. I'm not leaving you. Bae, it's better for one of us to be there than we both miss it. We're not going to miss it. We're going to make it. And I'd rather miss it than to let you be here by yourself. Anything can happen to you. Come on, it's the middle of the daytime. Ain't nothing gonna happen, I'll be fine. No, I'm not leaving you here, and that's that. All right, I was just trying to help. I know you are, but we're gonna make it. All right. I was thinking, let's finish where we left off this morning. I mean, we got time right now. <laughs> we is not about to do it here, in the daytime. Who does it in the daytime? I seen a couple doing it yesterday. Really? Yes, in broad daylight. No. Hey, you straight, fam? I ain't mean to mess up y'all situation or nothing. You need some help, bro? No, I'm good. You good? Yeah, we good. Can I help you? Man, anything. I just want to make sure everything was everything, man. Y'all looking real nice. Uh, Y'all going somewhere special? A wedding. Yeah, man. But uh, we good, man. All right, then. You good? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Appreciate it, though. Anytime, fam. Man, it's crazy how these people be sometimes. Babe, time. babe. <laughs> I've had 
a bad day and you're not making it any better. Hey, hey, I'm just trying to feed my kids. It's called getting a J-O-B. Why don't you get one of those? Look, look, whatever, just take your shit back. Look, put the gun down. Don't you come back here with your broke ass. Do you understand me? Now leave us alone. Whatever. I'm turning my life over to God. Baby, are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> Where did you get that gun? I, I, I bought it a couple weeks ago. Okay. Well, we gotta return it. What? Yeah. No, it's, it saved us, didn't it? Yeah, Bree, but you know the law, okay? You know the law. Look, I don't feel safe without it now. People are carrying swords and, and knives. You saw the person with the bow and arrow. We don't know how to use that shit. I can't even put it in my purse. Look, I get it, okay? And look, I, I know how you feel. But if someone attacks you, okay, and you shoot them back, it's not considered self-defense anymore. Well, at least I'll be alive. I get it. Look, Bree, we'll just find you something else to carry. Like what? I can't even carry a taser. Trust me, I looked. That's why I bought the gun in the first place. And they still have the nerve to call this the land of the free? It's not even just these guns. It's this curfew and this Yuan shit. When is it gonna end? This government is supposed to help us, it's supposed to work with us, it's not supposed to dictate us. You are right, you are right. But what are we gonna do? I don't know. Why run a country and not even care about the people that are in it? This is just frustrating. Like, we work 40 to 60 hours a week and this lazy ass nigga runs up and robs us. Like, he's lucky I just didn't shoot his dumb ass. Were you really gonna shoot him? Yes. He had a knife to your throat. Of course I woulda. Do you think the police would come sit with us while we wait? Nah. Nah, I doubt it. I mean, but you never know. of your emergency. Hi. Me and my boyfriend are waiting for a tow and some guy just tried to rob us. Is there any way you could please send a police officer just to come sit with us while we waited? Or maybe even check on us? Okay. We can send someone to check on you, but they can't stay. What is your location? Okay. Well, we're on 15th Street right off of Warren. And what type of vehicle is it? Yeah, we're in a silver SUV. You can't miss us. Okay, ma'am. Just hang tight. I'll send someone out as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Look, let's just take our mind off of all this, okay? I got something for us. Yeah, I know you're feeling that. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't remember that? <sighs> Come on. Now I know you remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call whisper in my ear, darling. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> what? You always try to make the best out of a bad situation. Where you come from? I mean, you just too good to be true. What? You know that's like the nicest thing you said all day to me? <laughs> you gonna throw that back at me? Come whisper in my ear. Of course. Darling. Of course. <laughs> 
You know it. <laughs> trying to tell you. Whatever. Who is this one? Get a room. Asshole. Hi, my name is Darius. My Uncle Willie sent me down here to check on you guys. You want some food? Hell yeah, let us get some. Thank you, that was really sweet of you. Ooh, this looks good. I'm gonna devour this. Ooh, this is so good. Yep, best piece in town. Dang, babe. Man, this is good. Mm. And do you guys mind if I jump in the back? Didn't your parents teach you how to get in the car with strangers? Well, yeah, but I have a positive vibe about you guys. Usually I can tell what bad people are around, and there's a lot around here. Yeah, we notice. All right, hop in the back, bro. All right, cool. So where you from? You stay around here? Yeah, not too far up the road. Mmm, <laughs> that's some good pizza. Mm -hmm. Yo, where did you get this from? I got it from my uncle's wheel shop. Hmm, so, you have any sisters or cousins around my age? Mmm, <laughs> okay. No, why? I was trying to get lucky today. No, I'm ready for a wife. Come on, man, you ready for a wife already? Heck yeah, I'm trying to get lucky, man. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. But she has to love video games or it's over. A man who knows what he wants. Look at you. Mm-hmm. I just want to come home, eat pizza, play video games, no arguing, no fighting. I just want to have a cool life. And that's it? That's it. So besides video games, like, is there anything else you like to do, man? Well, no. My grandfather told me to do what I love and make sure I can make money off of it. You're a lot smarter than most adults I know. Mm -hmm. Man, I agree with you 100%. I hate my job. So, what do you do? Man, I work at a plant. I manage their work orders and stuff like that. Sounds boring. It is. Oh, what do you really want to do? I just want freedom. You know, freedom to do whatever I want, when I want, how I want. How you plan on getting it? That I do not know. Well, you have to find your passion in life. That's the key. Then you'll be good. Yeah, you know you're right. Mm-hmm. What about you? Well, I really want to be a writer. I love to write, but I never have time for it anymore. Well, you have to make time, even if it's just an hour a day. You're right. Mm. Can I see your phone? Yeah, go ahead. Hmm, here. Just in case you guys need to hit me up, just give me a call. All right, for sure. You something else. Yeah, that's what they all say. Text me your toe comb. Will do. Thanks so much for your help. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Smart kid. Mm. Now I know one thing. I'm coming back here just for the pizza. Mm, that's my second slice. Thank you for calling Paige Chevrolet. Someone will be with you shortly. Thank you for calling Paige Chevrolet. This is Sarah speaking. How can I direct your call? Hi, Sarah. How you doing today? I'm doing well, sir. How about yourself? Still breathing, so I can't complain. That's a good outlook to have. So how can I direct your call? Can I have you transfer me to the service department, please? Sure. One moment, sir. Thank you so much. I'm talking. I only get transferred to a union. Someone will be with you shortly. Service department, this is Aaron speaking. How may I help you? How you doing? I'm doing well, sir. How can I help you? Do y'all provide loaner cards for customers? 
Yes, sir, we do. Would you like to schedule an appointment? Um, well, we waiting for a talk. We've been here for a while. Oh, sorry to hear that. What's wrong with the vehicle? Well, the car won't start, and I got an error message on my odometer. You're like the third person to call me this week with the same issue. What? But none of them ever showed up. Maybe it fixes itself. But yeah, just bring it on in. We're open till 6. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Not a problem. All right. See you then. <sighs> Look, I hope they have some good loaner cars, because I'm not trying to show up like Jim Carrey off the mask. Mm. That's my mom. Mm. Mm. Hey, mom. Dion! Why are they telling me your car is not running? Because it won't start. I'm about to call corporate and cuss they ass out and get you a new car. Come on, Ma. That's not necessary. The hell it ain't. As much as that car costs, there is no reason for this. Mom, I got it under control. Mm-hmm. You sure? Yes. Fine. This is your brother's big day now. You better not miss it. And I won't, Ma. All right now. I'll see you soon then. Okay, okay. Bye, Mom. Mm-hmm. Bye. How you folks doing? Good. How are you, officer? Good. License and registration, please. Why? License and registration, please. Don't make me ask a third time. It's in my pocket. Go for it. Take it out of the wallet, please. And the registration. Yours too. Yours too what? Wait, wait, she, she's not even driving. Your identification, ma'am. But she's not driving. It's fine. Where are you folks heading? To a wedding. A wedding, huh? Excuse me, officer. We were the ones that called you. We were waiting for a tow, and someone tried to rob us. Yeah, that's kind of normal around here. You folks look okay. Did they get anything? No, we talked them out of it. That's impressive. You can reason with these people. What do you mean, these people? No good criminals. I need you to pop your trunk. What? This is a high drug area. I need to be sure you're not dealing. What? Look, man, I told you we ain't dealing, okay? We told you we just going to a wedding. Shit, we the one I called you. No need to raise your voice, sir. I'm not, I'm not raising my voice, officer. Yes, you did. We're not dealing, officer. Then you shouldn't have a problem with me searching your vehicle. You're not searching my vehicle without a warrant. <laughs> what do you think this is, 2019? We have the right to search any car, house, or person we deem suspicious. And right now, that's you. Babe, just do what he says. Come on. You should listen to your woman. It's open. Make sure you pop the latch. The gun. I know, 
but we can't put it anywhere. Are you all right, ma'am? Yes. <clears throat> Good, officer. Just morning sickness. All right. I need you both to step out of the vehicle and up on the curb. Stand over here, please. Keep your hands out where I can see them. Right there, sir. Back up. Good boy. Stay there. That's the deepest console I've ever seen. It's all that's necessary. You can never be too safe. <laughs> Sir, can you step over here, please? Stand up straight, put your hands out to your sides. All right, you're good. Stand over there. You're next. Done? Yeah, you're good. Step over there. Do I understand you two are looking for a tow? Yes. I can have a guy here in about five minutes. For free? Nothing's for free, darling. No. We're fine. Because I like you guys. I could do it for, say, 200 UN. You're seriously asking us for money right now? Hey, you need a tow? I got a guy. We can help each other out. No. No, thank you. You're sure? Did he stutter? Tell you what. Here's one of my cards. If you change your mind, give me a call. Have a nice day, officer. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Okay. Catch you next time. He didn't touch our shit. Babe, look, our stuff is everywhere. What? Seriously? No. What? He didn't. What? I bought some panties for tonight, and and they're missing. What? Ugh. He had the nerve to violate me and then steal my panties? If I would have put my shoe in his ass, I would have been sent to jail. 
And he knows he's in the wrong. I swear, if this tow truck doesn't hit this corner soon... I'm just over today. Huh? I'm just over today. Yeah, I know. You and me both. All this stress isn't good for me and the babe. What? You know what? Nothing. No, it's just not good for me. Rihanna. Rihanna. Are you pregnant? Yes. Yes, I am. Dan. Dan. You don't want it, do you? What? You don't want this baby, do you? No, you don't want it. Bree! Bree! Oh, shit. Bree, hold on for a second. No! Hold on, come here. What are you talking about? You always say you don't want another baby. Why would I think you'd be happy with this one? Look, I ain't want a girlfriend either, okay? But you're the best thing that ever happened to me. You did fight liking me for, like, the longest. Yeah, I did. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I better be. Remember that time we went to Cedar Point? How could I forget? I was so sure I was going to get pregnant that day. You know, I think sometimes. I wish you had. Really? Why? Because I don't want to deal with Danielle. Now, I honestly feel, if it was just me and you, we'd be better off. I mean, you having your first child. You know how special that is? And I ruined it with someone I don't even care about. I didn't know you felt that way. I didn't either. When I first met you, back in high school, I was drawn into you. That was 15 years ago. My nose is still wide open for you. Okay? So yes, I do want this baby. I love you, Bree. I love you too. All right, let's get back in the car. Hey, B. Yeah? You're gonna be a great mom. No, thank you. I already know you're gonna be a good dad. Hey, I wonder what we gonna name him. Or her. Yeah, you're right, or her. I don't know. If it's a boy, I like Alexander. If it's a girl, I like Nile. Nile River. Now, River. Yeah. What? Where did you get that name from? It's cute. No, it's not. That's a bad name. You're fired from every name our child's names. 
fired. Yes. You can't fire me. I just did. You're fired. <laughs> I don't care how cute you are. You're fired. Whatever. Do you have any better ideas? All right. If it's a boy, we'll name him Roshan. But if it's a girl, we'll name her Roshan. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know better at this than I am. Whatever. I don't know what time it is. Think I should call them? Tow truck? See where they at? Yeah. Yeah, it's about that time. Hello? Is this Brown's towing? Yes, it is. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm calling to check on the status of a tow. Didn't they give you an ETA? Yeah. Then that's the time they should be arriving. Well, can you tell me a time that they're coming? All of our trucks are very busy. Anything else I can help you with? Will you please give me a time they're coming? I would gladly appreciate it. Fine. Name? Dion Harris, Silver Equinox. They should be there around 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? I thought you said they'd be here at 4.30. 4.35. I don't know, sir. I just answer the phone. Our times are just an estimate, which is what the <sighs> E... Shut the hell up. Well, who pissed in her cornflakes this morning? She probably single with seven cats. What up, Tay? Yo, what up? Yeah, they say that tow truck won't be here until about 5 o'clock. So if they come at 5, you should make it by 6 or so, right? Yeah, we hope so. All right, man. Well, we can make it work. See you then. y'all doing? Would you mind stepping out of the vehicle? What do you want? We want you to step out of the vehicle. Didn't I just say that? Did I stutter? Nope. Heard you loud and clear. I thought so. We called the police. They should be here any minute. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Either you get out of the vehicle, or we make you get out of the vehicle. Your choice. Go get me a rag. So, where are y'all from? Oh, silent type, are we? Well, me? I'm from Tennessee. I used to want to be a singer, but it didn't pan out for me, because it turns out I really couldn't sing. But I did have a favorite song. You want to hear it? She used to cry when I came home late. Now she just cries when I come home. Light it. Looks like we're going to have ourselves a pig roast. Step back, everybody. Looks like the 4th of July's coming early this year. Get out 
Oh, the fucking car! Now, why did you make us go through all of this? This could have been a whole lot easier. What do you want? Huh? Money? Here. You can have it. Just leave us alone. Could have handed that to him nicely. You took the words right out of my mouth. Are you serious? You're supposed to protect and serve us, not torture us. If you two weren't so disrespectful, this could have went a whole nother way. Disrespectful? You sexually harassed my wife. In front of me. And you took her underwear. And you got the audacity to call us disrespectful? What I did earlier, I just did it to harass you. To provoke you. Mm-hmm. So that's what you do? You go around harassing black folks? Is that it? Nope. Some very rich, very powerful people want you. For what? You know when you renew your driver's license? And there's that little check about donating an organ? Yeah. Well, when you checked yes, it puts you on a special list. A list only very powerful people have access to. And one of them needs, let's say, a heart, and they're AB positive, like yourself. They send someone to go get it. And in this case, that someone is me. Sometimes we arrange for a car accident. Sometimes some gym mats will just accidentally fall on someone. Or cars just stop where we want them. So you telling me you stalled out my car just to take my heart? Are you guys serious? Is this a joke? 911, what's the address of the emergency? That was you? Yep. Damn, ma. Your skin's soft as fuck. And she's slim thick, too? Shit, bitch is slim thick, though. Don't take it personal. My son's in the hospital. And protecting and serving the law, it sounds good. But in reality, it don't pay jack shit. I want wealth. I want the freedom that wealth brings. I'm tired of getting shot at for crumbs while my son's lying in the hospital. And you, my friend, are the key. Purpose of a man is to make everything better. What are you doing to make this better? Blah, 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 blah. I don't need to hear any of your motivational mumbo jumbo. As long as my son can get the care that he needs and I can retire, I don't care. You're sick. <laughs> you know what'd be great with you two? What's that? Exart. That would be so hot. Hell yeah. I'm down. You interested? Mm, that's the face I can sit on. Sit still. <laughs> yeah. Now what? Well, that escalated quickly. You two are full of surprises. I searched your vehicle and I didn't see that. Hell, I can't even leave the precinct with a gun. What are you gonna do? Nobody controls me, okay? Nobody. So you got one option, to let her go, now. Oh, really? Sweetheart, if he fires another shot, I want you to cut her throat. With pleasure. Now you need to give me that gun or pop goes the weasel. You seem to be struggling, so let me help you out a bit. I'm gonna count to four. And when I get to four, she's gonna kill her. Ichi, dos, trois, uh, how you say four in German? Vier. I like how that sounds. I knew you were smart. All right, come on.
Turn around. Hands behind your head. <clears throat> are you just gonna sit around <clears throat> all day or are you gonna join us? Fuck you. Not too tight, are they? You ever hear the song, I left my heart in San Francisco? Have you ever heard it? No? It's a great song. Hey, I've got an idea. I'm gonna call the radio station and have them play it. They'll even dedicate it to you, my new friend who gave his whole heart for love. You crazy, man. Get in there. Go on. That's it. Ugh, good thing you were much bigger. You got anything left to say? You know it's nothing personal, right? You bet not hurt her. Good afternoon, you good people. We got something very special for you today. This here is Brianna. She is a feisty young thing. But that's the fun part, am I right? I think we're gonna start the bidding at 500,000 yuan. Do I hear 750? 800. A million? Million five. Two million? Do I hear 220? 225? Five million. Sold. That's it. Auction's over. Babe, you just made me a millionaire. Congratulations, Mr. J. Peterson. Shut that thing off. You fucking bitch. Put her in the car. I'll run. There he is. Why are you here? I just couldn't let my friends get hurt. You two both need to go home. You're the one that needs to go home. And if I don't, what are you gonna do? Shoot me with your little arrows? Bullets travel faster. Accuracy is the key. Oh, I won't miss. Trust me. And neither will I, little lady. Little lady? You think this is a Western? You think you're in a Western? Seems that way sometimes. This is real life. But I'm a nice guy and I like to give people choices. So you can either Walk away and live another day, or die right here, right now, your choice. Quite nice of you. Don't move. Walk. Even if you shoot me, it won't matter. Go. They want him, they're gonna get him. Shut up, keep walking. They'll send somebody, if not me, somebody else. Go on. With me or without me. Stop talking. Someone's gonna collect. Shut up. You know what to do. Unlock the truck. Babe, you okay? Yeah, babe. I'm okay. That's right. Be careful!
so happy to see you. I'm sorry, it's been a crazy day. Yeah, tell me about it. You can't run from us. Assume the position. You forced out our queen. The queen. I said, kneel. We don't kneel to no man. And we're certainly not gonna do it for you two bitches. Put it away. Yes, your majesty. I don't want you damaging my merchandise. You two have been causing me quite some trouble today. And you are? Who I am is no concern of yours. Put him in a car. <laughs> <laughs>